Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washoff at vareva.com. Today I am going to show you another favorite of mine. I am very surprised while I was checking the list of the dishes I did, I did not make mutton rogan josh. Dear friends, this is one of the tastiest and super awesome dish from Kashmir. You know, this is the dish what I learned from the master chefs only in 5 star hotels, but I have seen in lot of restaurants they serve mutton rogan josh, they just serve the mutton curry and call it rogan josh and it doesn't have the punch what rogan josh must have. You know lot of people add onion, tomato and all this in making the rogan josh but what I am going to do today, I am not going to add onion nor tomatoes nor even yogurt. You know if you want you can add little bit of yogurt but I am not even going to add yogurt. So for this the spices what we are going to add is javitri that is mace, cinnamon, green cardamom, cumin seeds, black cardamom and saffron. You know I am going to make a powder of these four and add while as I black ilachi or the black cardamom and cook the meat with it. Now here I have got one and a half tablespoon of chilli powder, not any chilli powder, Kashmiri chilli powder that is what will give nice red color, ginger powder but one tablespoon of fennel seed powder and we are going to add this in this quantity and that will give a very nice tasteful gravy. Now to make it very simple I am going to mix all of these uh, masalas together so you will understand. So here I have got hing powder, you know hing is a must for uh, mutton rogan josh and in this add Kashmiri chilli powder, ginger powder and fennel seed powder and in this add water and mix this into a watery paste and now <clears throat> we are going to add in a blender I am going to add the cumin seeds, green cardamom, cinnamon sticks and javitri that is mace. I am going to powder and add it. So make it a nice coarse powder. Ghee, you know you are not going to cook it in the oil. This mutton rogan josh needs to be cooked in nice deshi ghee. When this deshi ghee heats up we are going to add Badi ilachi that is black cardamom that will give a nice uh, flavor to this dish and here I have got meat this is a nice uh, lamb meat and all these meats have bone nalli that is a shanks of uh, meat you know and take all the pieces which are like shanks and when this is get cooked like this with the bone in the gravy becomes nice and very flavorful. Now here the ghee is heated up and my black cardamom is nicely roasted. In this add pieces of this meat and we are going to cook this meat in this ghee and you have to cook till the meat becomes slightly brown that is when you get a very good flavor to the gravy. You know it is better always to fry the meat like this and then cook it on a slow flame. You know now look at this meat this is nicely slightly brown and you know this method of cooking is used not only in India but throughout the world. When you roast the meat like this it is called Millard effect. What it does is it caramelizes the outer coating of meat and gives a very nice flavor to this dish. Now this is all ready. Now in this we are going to add the mixture, the paste of uh, the chilli powder and uh, soft powder, fennel powder into this and you can also add little of saffron. You know this will also give a very nice uh, uh, flavor to this dish and pour in lot of water to cover the meat. You know because I wanted to show you I am cooking in such a big pan otherwise I would have taken a little smaller pan like this but uh, you know to make sure that you see what is happening in the pan I took a vessel like this. Now put the lid on and cook it on a slow flame for at least one hour to one and a half hour. Another easy method of if you do not have patience to spend one and a half hour of slow cooking, easy method is just uh, pour this into a pressure cooker, cook it and again transfer it back in this pan because you want this masala salt to be also to be cooked. In a slow method of cooking like this what it does is it evaporates the water because we added little extra water in this that water will be evaporated and when the sauce is done it has to be liquidy but all the masalas need to be cooked. And here is the masala of cumin, cardamom, 
cinnamon sticks. And when you are cooking in the open method like this, when this is cooked for like half of the time, that's almost 45 minutes, then we are going to add this. But if you do in the pressure cooker, you know, you will have to add it after the meat is cooked. After cooking for almost 45 minutes, now look at this gravy. This is nice. The oil is also slightly floating on top and you can see this meat. The lamb bones were not visible when we started. But look at this. Now after 45 minutes, they coming off the bone. That's when you know that the meat is getting nicely cooked. Now, here is the masala powder of uh, maize that is javitri, cinnamon, cardamom, cumin and all this. And then we are going to add to this. This is what will give a nice flavor to your Rogan Josh. Just add all of this, mix it and we are going to cook this for another 30 minutes at least till the time the meat is become nice and tender. The meat should be so much cooked that it should be coming off the bone and also when it is properly done this meat will literally melt in your mouth that is when you got a perfect and a super awesome tasty Rogan Josh. So dear friends you don't need to add curd, no tomatoes, no onions just with these masalas you will not believe how much awesome flavor this is already giving. So let me put the lid on and if you need to add a little water, you can keep adding little water till you get the desired consistency. After cooking it for almost another 30 minutes, the flavor of Rogan Josh has spread all over. And you can see how the Rogan, Rogan means this oil that is floating in red in color. Look at this. That is what makes this uh, awesome dish super to look at and tasty also and wow you know if you make it right this will taste super fantastic ah, ah it is so good trust me make it the way i've shown you and it will be super fantastic ah. dear friends this is something magical. This is something super awesome. But you use nice lamb shanks to make it and take it easy on the ginger powder and you will get nice perfect Rogan Josh. You know while we were in the college they always used to add Ratan Jog. But when I was in the industry they told no, no, no Ratan Jog in this. The color should come from the Kashmiri chilies the flavor, the aroma should come from saffron and some people also add coxcomb is a kind of a flower which gives also a nice coloring. Some people add that but for me this is super perfect. I am going to switch off the flame and I am going to enjoy it hot along with my naan. Wow. Now look at this Rogan Josh. Wow. What flavors along with this. Mm. so much perfectly cooked and uh, you know especially when I cook meat like this I want the meat to be fully nice and tender but still retain some of the pink color that's the reason why I did not add turmeric but some people add if you want you can add turmeric also but dear friends wow you know eat with basmati rice or nice mogalai naan like the one what I'm eating huh. This is super and the nice sauce is also nice sticky and super tasty. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed today's session of learning how to make this awesome mutton rogan josh from Kashmir. But do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.